Hey developers, today I'm going to talk to you about where you can go and find view libraries, which ones I recommend, and also some information on where you can get news on Vue.js. So let's begin. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in action book published by Manning. You can find information about that below in the links in the description. Actually, if you want the first chapter of that book, just click the link in the description below and you can get that. So the other day I was asked, where do I go to keep up with Vue.js news? And I just want to give a shout out to this really cool website, news.vuejs.org. They are updating this weekly you can sign up for their weekly email but you can also just get tons of information like what cool new plugins what cool new libraries are coming out what's happening in the community so for example just recently they mentioned my hooks video that i did on monday which is really cool they actually have a podcast too where you can listen to uh, the latest happenings on Vue.js, and has tweets here mentions like different links like Vue.js component fundamentals from view school migrating from Angular to Vue, creating custom directives. So kind of a, a mix between videos and, and just tutorials, async data, integration to Contentful with Nuxt, Quasar framework for Vue.js. So really cool. And they have all the links to the GitHubs in it. So I just want to give that a shout out. You know, the link is in the description below, but I think it's a cool resource. Also, I was just speaking with Damien, who actually helps create this news, uh, Vue.js news. He is a... Um, here he is right here. He's a consultant. He's part of the Vue.js core team. And he has some really cool pinned re repositories. I actually just interviewed him for Views on Vue, the podcast. So I was going to just take a look and tell you about some of his more popular plugins, uh, add-ons, libraries that he's created for Vue. And one of them is called Vue Multi-Select. And, and this is, it's a uh, it's pretty popular, has tons of commits, lots of activity on this on this great plugin and it's basically it's a way to do selection and drop down selecting inside Vue.js. Now I could probably do a whole video of setting this up and doing different parameters but in this video I'm just going to show you these different plugins. I'll put all the links in the description below and you guys can see which ones you like. For example here here's the examples for it. So I can have like a single select drop down which is kind of nice. You can have different colors you have different options. It's all obviously integrated in with Vue. Makes a lot of sense. It's pretty easy, easy to set up. You can single sell, select as object. So you can have this, you can see the select box is done different ways. You can have one already selected for you. You can select with search, which uh, looks like you can do it this way. You can do b multiple selections. So you can see select multiple at a time. You can do asynchronous selections. You can do tagging, which is cool. Um, you can see here, you can add different tags and it adds it in this way. So all really neat. There's just so many things you can do with this. And look, you can even have like pictures, <laughs> drop down select. So a lot of stuff that you want to have when a really cool select drop down. I would highly recommend this. Let's see, you got custom option templates. You have action dispatchers. So you can have like scroll the top. <laughs> That's really neat. And then you can do custom configuration and it has lots of props. It's highly, act it's, it's very well documented and there's just a ton of things you can do with it. So one thing I always do when I'm creating a new project, I try to think of all the different components I want to put together. I almost do like a little bit of a analysis kind of an architecture, high level architecture of the app I'm trying to create before I jump in. And if I can take something out off the shelf, a library that someone's created and be able to plug it in, and I trust that library and I know it's being updated and it's well documented, I love to, to do that and just grab it and put it in. It saves a ton of time and this would be something I would, would use. Another great one is called View Validate. So anytime you wanna do uh, validations, there's a few validation libraries this one's pr pretty well documented too. Like uh, you could, for example, it's really easy to set up. And once you add this validation mix in, you can do all sorts of like mins, maxes on your validation inputs. Like 
you can do required lengths, minimum lengths. Uh, like for example, this one you set from 20. If you have like too high of a number, you can have errors on on blur. You see, you see, you can put required, minimum lengths. You can create your own custom validations. You do without V model. There's contextified validation. So tons of different validations. Really neat. Lots of stuff you can do here. See, field must be at least five characters long. Field must have so many uh, eight characters long. So it's really easy to set up and really cool validations you can create. So I would highly recommend to take a look at that. And the last one is view global events. It's so simple, but it's so elegant. So if you've ever had to add in global events into a view application, you're kind of limited in some ways. So now you can register global events, for example, application shortcuts, just like you would listen to events in a component. I might actually do a video on this because it's 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 fairly simple, but it's neat to see how it works. So in this, this example, you can see he set up some, uh, this global events right here, and you can have um, different events do different things. Like I hit left click, it, it adds, right click, it subtracts. You can um, you can do different combinations. To space resets the counter. You can do like Control Plus, Control Minus. So really neat stuff. See, so I can do in Control Plus. Can't really see it because I'm uh, just on my keyboard here. But you can set up these global events really quickly. You can attach them to these methods to do it for different things. And obviously, they'll be global throughout the app. So very cool. If you guys are really interested in learning more about different plugins, the site I always go to is Awesome View. So GitHub, Vue.js, Awesome View. Uh, you know, obviously I'd look at something like Vue.js News first, but once I just want to give a specific one, I just kind of take a look at this. And I've talked about this website before. It's fairly up to date as far as I can tell, but like, let's say I wanted to find a UI component for a calendar. I would just click on calendar here. I don't know, view calendar. And I would take a look at it first. When I always look at these things, make sure you see how many stars it has, how many watches it has. If it's been forked a lot to see how many people are using it. Like this has 990 stars versus, you know, view two event calendar. That's 35. You also could try them out and see which ones you like better. So you may want to kind of give an idea, look at how many stars it has. And then when you find one you like, also see how many issues is it being updated, things like that. And then also try it out. So like this one, here's the view calendar page. You can see how it looks here. So you can look at the documentation and how you can use it. That's, that's kind of interesting. So yeah, this would be a great this is a great website just to kind of get an idea of what's out there. If it's there's definitely add-ons that aren't on here. Let's see, multi-select. Yeah, view. I think I wonder if multi-select's on here. I haven't even checked. Select. Yeah, of course it's on here. View multi-select. There's also view select too. Uh, this has 2,536 stars. The multi-select I just mentioned is a little bit more popular probably the most popular one out of all the different multi-selects, but maybe you want to try view select instead. You know, that's perfectly fine. This is uh, an idea of how you can do it. You can read the documents and see how they put it together. You know, just different styles, different strokes, you know, for different folks, I guess. So you can see which ones you like and try it out uh, and just go to the view awesome and, and then just kind of look, see, see which ones you like. So that's all I have today. I just want to talk about a little bit of, of Vue.js news. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you comment below. You let me know you like them. And also let me know what you want me to look at next. Do you want me to do a Vue.js plugin or library review? I can go ahead and throw up the editor and we can start going through it. Or are you guys interested in more of Vue fundamentals? videos. I was going to do more view videos with and headless CMSs. So guys, just let me know what you guys think about this. Leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. Take care.